Matt, two on defeat here at Cambridge this afternoon. Just seemed to run out of steam at, at the end. Run out of steam, run out of quality. Um, we didn't have much quality throughout the game in all honesty. We had moments of attack in the first half which were um, good moments and we might have made more of them um, but as the game went on uh, we lost control of the ball too often and, and gave it away too cheaply and became predictable in, in our play. Um, not enough players really stood up and took responsibility in terms of taking a bit of a risk in possession to, to receive the ball in tight areas but full credit to the opposition they probably forced us into that um, and it's only really two entries in the box and two unmarked headers to a certain extent which have cost us the actual points. I can't remember Jamal having too much to do in the meantime around that. Um, it's just disappointing because I said to them, I, I love their commitment, I love their endeavour, um, their fit group, they're an organised group, um, but they've got to back themselves a little bit more with, with the football. Obviously both teams had that extra opponent of the heat today. I know you've said both teams had the same issue with that, but do you, felt, do you feel Cambridge perhaps managed it better? Or uh, dealt maybe with it's better? a sign of their squad slightly stronger than ours. Their bench certainly looked like they, they had impact players off the bench. Um, we, we put players on the pitch with the hope of the impact. It probably had the opposite in all honesty. Um, we certainly didn't get stronger in, in, in those moments, but that's, that'd be wrong to dig out just the substitutes in terms of their performance on that, on that football pitch. It was very much as that game was progressing and as that game was, was going into the, the real crunch, um, we, we didn't take the moments which we should have done. Um, and that's not in front of the opposition goal. We had enough moments where we could have got on the ball and been a bit braver to receive in certain areas of pitch to work our way up the pitch. Um, Giovanni and Sam had moments in the first half of good ball, no moments of the second half of good ball and that's always a reflection on the rest of the group. I think particularly the second half it was an uncharacteristic Exeter City performance you've mentioned, you know, misplaced passes, sloppy balls. Yeah, well, you saw it, that's, you know, that's, it's not me feeding that back to the players, Ever, everyone's witnessed it um, and we can say the heat forces into that moment. Uh, their fit group, the opposition were exactly the same. Um, I, I have to say I thought Czech Debate was outstanding. He's a top player there centre forward. He, he's going to go and play at a really, really high level of football and he had a real battle with Czech Debate for a 20 year old centre half. That's, that's incredible. But he had a commitment in his game and a connection with the game um, and we needed more players around him and either side of him to exa have exactly the same. I think Similarly to, to Lincoln, this game, strong first half, not so much in the second half. Yeah, but even the first half, we got away with a couple of moments. Just our sharpness of our mind. I remember two diagonal balls on the inside of wing-backs and the outside of the outside centre house where they could have hurt us more than that. Um, we scored the goal. I was actually really disappointed the referee didn't play lines there. Lad when Giovanni's clean through. Exactly the same example as what happened on Tuesday night. It seems like a nitpicking now and it feels a long time ago in the game. That's a huge moment in the game. Our centre forward's clean through on goal and he gets pulled back. Um, on both occasions, the referee he has fought long and hard about it and not given the right decision. They have to be, like I'm saying, my players have to be brave. Officials have to be brave in terms of making those decisions. You mentioned that the same thing happened on, on Tuesday. Now, I'm certainly not aware of any, any new rule changes as to why both decisions haven't been given. <laughs> Look, I'm asking my players to be brave. Officials have to be brave. And a brave decision is to make a right decision because it's a foul. And if it's a foul and the players feel in goal, then unfortunately it's, it's a red card. I don't want to see players sent off. If my players did that to Ironside or to Nibs or to another, I'd expect them to be sent off. But don't shirk that moment. Don't shirk the decision in relation to that. And, and that's what the official did. We got away with it because we scored three minutes later. But that doesn't take away the fact we've been playing against ten men. Um, and that was, if I'd much if I'm frustrated with the referee, I'm more frustrated with my group of players for not, not taking that responsibility. You mentioned the goal there, great instinct from Sam and unselfish to, to no, pass to Giovanni. Re real commitment from Sam. Like I said about check one end of the pitch, Sam Nombe is going to give you all out commitment in terms of at the ball, towards the ball, he'll make a whole, whole host of mistakes but he's, he's committed to his moments of the game um, and he tackled their centre half, left him on the floor, squared it for Giovanni and it's 1-0 it's to us. Um, we had to be more as a group committed to our moments in the game and unfortunately I didn't feel we were. We didn't quite get the result we wanted this afternoon, but we've seen yet again that, that Giovanni and Sam link up. When at its best can be lethal. Yeah, and we've got to take responsibility as a team and a coaching staff to give them what they need. Um, that they work the opposition back line, they, they fed off scraps in the second half. Um, you, you saw how the game um, panned out in relation to the, the, the aspects of our attacking play in the second half and the last few minutes is desperation because it's balls in the opposition box and really unnatural for us. So if we're going to be successful, we have to understand what makes us successful. And if I have to give more and more license to certain players on that football pitch, especially away from home, to take more of a risk to get in possession, then, then I'll do so. Um, but our actual use and execution in those moments wasn't good enough.
how big a lesson do you think this result is uh, for the wider League One campaign? Uh, it's, it's interesting because if we can't play any better then I'd be more concerned when you get lose games of football and you see what the opposition is about. I think there's, there's more from us. We, we've shown more this season, we've shown a lot more last season so just too many players didn't have their, their top level game today and you can always afford one or two but not the majority of the group. I've, I've singled out Czech and then obviously Giovanni and Sam in the first half. Not many of the rest of the group can really come in and say I've, I've played well. Um, not too many of the opposition will probably say that but they've just done more in those bigger moments in the second half in terms of the goals. Big week coming up, two home games starting with Wickham on, on Tuesday, a side that you know, are always there and thereabouts at yeah, the top yeah. end. I don't expect it to be too dissimilar to today. Um, they'll move us around, they'll mess us about, they'll pin us in certain areas. Um, we'll have to be back on the front foot. It's been a hot day today, so we'll assess where the, the group are at physically. Um, we might have to rotate certain personnel within the, within the squad. We've not got the biggest squad in the world. That's probably shown in terms of the bench today, and we're relying on certain aspects of our play. Um, hopefully, we'll have reinforcements in it at some stage, but I was saying it when we were winning games. I'll say it again when we're getting beat. The, the, the squad needs to be strong if we are going to compete. Are you hopeful before Tuesday or perhaps Saturday that we'll have more um, incomings? Certainly before the following Saturday, I hope before Tuesday. Um, we are working as hard as we possibly can, um, but I've said that for a long period of time now. Um, really only on that pitch is, is Jamal who's different in terms of the squad and you know, at, at times, and it's not just a reaction to the loss because I've been saying it throughout, we have to help him out. We have to help Nombe out top of the pitch, we have to help Giovanni, we have to help check Batty out one end of the pitch. So um, taking pressure off at certain players when they're not at the best, I can offload it with better players to come in. I couldn't do that today. <laughs>